In our previous video, we used a Kamikaze template to unlock a slim light on board with a Windmod chipset that is locked um, when using a Maximus Lizard. On this video, we'll do the same thing, but instead we'll use the X360 USB Pro from Team Executor. We use a CK3i to power the driver or CK3 Lite. Um, and basically, we're going to show you basically using a Jungle Flasher 1.89 that uh, you can use the same tools to achieve the same goal and I'll unlock the board. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, template, lay it on top of your drive. I'm not going to really do all this all over again. You can just watch my previous video. Um, so, once we marked our spot, we're going to go ahead and on Jungle Flasher, you're going to go ahead and uh, go to the MTK Flash 32 tab. I'm going to enter the drive. You need to do a power cycle. And then the drive status comes at 08C. As you can see right there, the SPI status is locked. All right, so to unlock it, basically at this point, we'll send the command, the SVI command. Yes. And this is the point you grab your soldering iron. I'm just going to go through the motion. I'm not really going to do it again. And you're going to basically wait to hear the beeping sound. Basically, when you hit the acquired depth, uh, when it unlocks, you basically hear that. So basically, you line it over the hole. And when you reach the acquired depth, it will unlock. As you can see, the status has changed to 000. And now the drive is unlocked. I'm going to do an intro device to make sure that it's not a false unlock. It's actually unlock. As you can see, it's unlocked. So at this point, you go ahead, basically, you can read your drive. You can create your custom firmware and write back into it. So I'm really not going to do that. I'm just basically just talking about it. Um, when you finish writing your firmware, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and lock the drive again. So you just click on it. Just ask you, are you really sure? And you're going to go ahead and power cycle the drive. Enter the drive to make sure it's locked. And you can see status come back to so see the drive is now locked. Now, I want to also show you a cool trick that, um, let's say in the future there was an update and you want to write back into it. You really don't want to do all this all over again. So basically all you have to do is um, go ahead and click on, uh, basically connect your uh, drive to the PC and intro your drive. Put it in the vendor mode and click on the SVI status and send a command. All you need is a Q-tip and some alcohol. And basically, you're just going to go ahead and drop alcohol on the, the where you drill the hole. And you just touch it. And basically, using, using your body's ground, it's going to basically cause a short and, uh, and uh, unlock the board. So we go ahead, power cycle, intro the device, and make sure status returns 0, 0, it's unlocked again. And now at this point, you can go ahead and dump it again, rewrite it, and update the firmware. And when you finish, uh, you go ahead and lock it back in again. Um, again, this is an uh, instruction video using Kamikaze template with Team Executor X360 USB Pro and using a CK3i with a Jungle Flasher software. Um, and thank you.